Hey folks, everything new under the sun here. I want to do a quick how-to. This is one of the easiest ways to speed up your iPad. So I have this iPad 2 and it is from uh, 2011. Let's go look at the, uh, this is the Wikipedia article for it. Oops, I'm probably covering my mic there. This is uh, Wikipedia iPad 2 uh, and this was came out in 2011 and I had waited from the iPad 1 when it first came out because I wanted something at least with a camera on it. This does have the camera. This is a 64 gig uh, with the 3G, with the 3G hole on it. So I used to be able to get the nice uh, $15 a month um, sort of pay-as-you-go iPad plan, and they dis they discontinued that. But anyways, I've had this for literally well 2017, six years now at least, and it was packed chock full of uh, uh, data, uh, apps, all sorts of things, and it was get just getting really slow. Um, uh, shifting between apps was really slow. Um, getting emails uh, was really slow. Um, you saw my password three one two three. Um, it was just the interface was really slow, and I would try and go to the browser and type into the browser, and it would take forever to uh, let me type into it. Um, so the easiest way, um, let me get in here. Maybe this is going to prove me wrong here. Oh, I typed in my password wrong. Uh, the easiest way. Come on, delete. The easiest way to speed this thing up uh, was to absolutely restore it from scratch. So how do you do that? So now this thing, uh, I have to, I'm downloading a few more apps, but now this thing is uh, fairly uh, quick in shifting apps and moving between things. So the easiest way, like I say, uh, go to your settings, click on it. Oh, I've got another finger on there, sorry. That's not the speed of the iPad there. Um, and then go to, uh, I believe it is, where is it, uh, general and then scroll up and there is a, a reset link there on the bottom so click click your reset link and that gives you options so now you can let me see if I can see erase all content and settings and that's what you want to click there erase all content and settings now it will uh, ask you to enter your password and I've already done this so I'm not going to do it again but effectively um, it doesn't put it back to, well, it puts it back to factory defaults. It deletes all your programs, deletes all your data. Um, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't revert the version, if you will, the iOS version. The iOS version stays the same, so that's okay. Um, but it deletes all the data. And that means, um, you know, when you're typing into the address bar in browser, it's not searching through a whole pile of things to match keywords and all sorts of things. Um, so this is, um, whoops, let me show you that again in the, uh, in the big, uh, big screen there. So general because um, I didn't, don't think I was on the big screen. General and uh, erase all content settings. Click that, enter your password. It takes about 10 minutes um, to go ahead and reset. You enter in your password again. You download uh, only the apps you're going to use instead of all the apps you were using. Um, you'll have to enter in some new passwords for your Gmail, etc. But after that, um, then the uh, iPad, not quite like new, um, but 100%, 100% uh, faster, more responsive than it was. So uh, erase all content and settings in the general menu. That is the easiest way um, to speed up your iPad. And like I say, this is an iPad 2, six years old. I paid $1,000 uh, for this when I originally got it. I don't know if you can see that. iPad 2, 64, probably won't focus, 64 uh, gig version. I paid $1,000 for it, like I said, brand new and I don't want it to die after six years so the reset this is just like uh, reinstalling your PC um, it just refreshes everything gets you back to scratch you can start uh, uh, with a limited amount of data only put the apps on you want and it should be a lot more responsive for you at least for the next uh, year or so until you get it loaded up again and you can do the same again so uh, just make sure not to restore it after you load it because it will go into the regular configuration screen where you have to pick your country and all this kind of stuff um, your time zone uh, but then it will ask you to restore it you don't want to do that because that's just going to bring back the same issue all the same data junk all the same logs the temp files etc that it had whenever it whatever slows it down so uh, definitely do that so the number one how to speed it up reset it back to factory defaults through the general menu I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.